it's been a long race to the end of 2021, but here we are, a heartbeat away from the finish line. But before we cross over to the new year, let's look back at the people who have made our day by running the extra mile and making us proud. First on our list is this Igorot teenage boy who lit us up with his ingenuity. 17-year-old Gentrix Castillo built a device that can power bulbs wirelessly. He turned to everyday materials at home, such as a Tesla coil from an old transformer. This capacitor lights not only a bulb, it also sparks potential of bringing power to communities dealing with outages. Hello. We are the electrical engineering students of CSBC. Now here's a story worth listening to. Five college students have invented gloves that can turn Filipino sign language into speech. They customized a pair of motorcycle gloves for their thesis. Several trackers and sensors were attached to them. These detect finger movements and hand motions. This data will be sent via Wi-Fi to the computer for processing. So for example, when I say, Hello. How are you? And the response is... I'm fine. Thank you. The project aims to bridge the communication gap for people with hearing and speech loss. Here's another Filipino student who made us proud, excelling as a summa cum laude of not just one, but two degrees. Jacob Wee achieved that at 21. And his secret to success is quite simple. Natulog lage ko na, you know, maaga para, you know, sa susunod na araw may energy po ako, may effort na mag-aral ulit. And hindi ako nagprocrastinate, so early pa lang nag-aral na ako, kaya hindi na, you know. It doesn't get, get there and I have to speak late. But beyond any awards or certificates, we can all learn from Jacob's growth mindset. With enough effort and opportunities, anyone can succeed. As they say, good, better, best. Never let it rest. And that's exactly what Heidelin Diaz did. Keep pushing until her better became the best. Heidelin won the Philippines' first Olympic gold medal at Tokyo 2020. Who would have thought that the girl who got into weightlifting as a way out of poverty would lift an entire nation amid tough times? Hi guys, nandito po tayo ngayon sa Salo Salo. And we cannot talk about uplifting the country without honoring our overseas Filipino workers who exemplify hard work and dedication like John Andrew Danka, who started out as a janitor. The 25-year-old worked his way up and now owns a restaurant in the Australian capital of Canberra. Pagiging cleaner, it's, it's very decent job. Kahit sabihin nila na um, pagiging cleaner ka lang dito, sabi nila na napakababang trabaho lang ganyan. Pero sa amin po talaga dito, hindi. Kasi equal lang po talaga lahat ng trabaho dito. Hindi ko talaga ikinahiya yung magiging cleaner dito kasi doon ako nag-start eh. It was not easy juggling school with cleaning hotels and offices, but he powered through and even got to bring his whole family with him. He opened his Filipino restaurant, Salo Salo, in 2019, and it stays true to its name, a place where people gather for good food and good memories. And those are just five of the stories we've shared throughout the year, stories that we hoped would make your day. I'm producer Brian, and from all of us in the team, thank you, take care, and happy holidays!